Black Godfather, a Netflix documentary profiling Clarence Avant, the power behind the scenes. A legend in his own right, Mr. Quincy Jones recently hosted a private screening of Black Godfather, honoring legendary Mr. Clarence Avon, which tells you right away that this documentary must be something special, uh, a must-watch, something important for anyone in entertainment, business, politics, or somebody that simply has a heart for black excellence. The Black Godfather is a 2019 documentary film directed by Reginald Hudlin. The film depicts the story of music executive, manager, advisor, entrepreneur, and power broker Mr. Clarence Avon, as told by the people he worked with over his story career. The film was released by Netflix on June 7th of 2019. Check out this quick trailer. The documentary paints Avon. This name kept coming up. Who is this guy that I keep hearing about? He wasn't there, but he was right there. The record business, Hollywood, civil rights, anything that had to do with the rights of people. That told you everything you needed to know about him. He was fearless, man. Absolutely fearless. We needed to know him because he was the gatekeeper. He knew everyone. Everybody. Oh, man, he was too fly. One to have for another, he became a powerhouse. There's the power that needs the spotlight, but there's also the power behind the scenes. The guy's a rock in every way. Agent, man. Manager, orchestrator, this mysterious figure everybody respected. You only find one of those people. I'm like, how was this guy doing it? Sometimes I say to myself, how in the f did I get involved with all this? I don't let nothing get in my way about anything that I want to do. Clarence was an African American man in Hollywood, defying what Hollywood was supposed to be. Black people are going to move forward. No matter what business he was in, he never wavered from his purpose. Seeing that things were fair. He said, would you like any help putting MCA into the black music business? I said, yeah. He says, well, that's good, because I'm going to tell you what to do anyway. I would hear about people that were in very serious situations when it came to life. And they would say, the only person that can help you with this is Clarence Avon. Clarence is the bridge from a time where there was no opportunity to a time where doors began to open. My brother! He understands the bigger that we are together, the bigger we will be as a culture. He told me, uh -huh. Henry Aaron would not be Henry Aaron if not for Clarence Avon. That I ought not to let you just walk on me. The message that I received from Clarence was just think about those kids that's looking up to me. It feels it's good getting you. The person that's responsible for your transition, that's the key to changing your life. You use me up. He became that mentor for us all. He became that godfather. And to you use me up. Remember the first time someone ever said, you're the godfather? Well, people call me that. People can call me anything. People have called me a son of a bitch, so what? <laughs> use me up. The documentary paints Avon, who turned 88 this year, as a man of wisdom, love, connections, and one with a good sense of direction about life in general. The film covers others uh, who have come to really appreciate and even treasure this wisdom and this sense of direction. He's called by Benny Medina in the film as The Way. Not just a bridge, but The Way. He became that mentor for us all, said rapper turned entrepreneur Sean Diddy Combs, who now has become an icon in his own right at this point, and annually makes the list of Forbes magazine's top celebrity earners. He became the godfather, referring to Mr. Avon. Watching the film, you kind of get this sense of awe, of his unique ability to connect, to negotiate, and to motivate. In the last 60 years, if there was a deal involving black music, culture, or civil rights, Avon was there. Nick Charles, a reporter for NBC News, stated in a recent article, Avant, now 88, was either the genesis in the room or on the conference call when it all went down. Nicole Avant, Clarence Avant's daughter, states, oddly, it was one of the few times Clarence Alexander Avant, the subject and star of the Netflix original documentary, The Black Godfather, would be out front and in the limelight. Nicole states that his notoriety flows not from being famous, but from a career spent in the back rooms and boardrooms where real power is found. Interestingly, uh, former President Barack Obama said one of the things that he understands is that there are different kinds of power. There's that power that needs the spotlight, but there's also that power that comes from being behind the scenes. For me, one of the things that took me by surprise is that here is Barack Obama, a history maker, a world changer, speaking with such awe and respect for a man that too was his godfather. Speaking about a man who has made things happen for even him and even opened the doors and paved the way for his presidency. This made me kind of sit up and really pay attention to this film on, on another level far beyond what I'd originally intended. 
Later in the film, we even see that Clarence Avant was friend, confidant, and counselor to even former President Bill Clinton. Bill Clinton said, his advice per word is worth more than anyone I ever dealt with. Reggie Hudlin, director of the documentary, said that what captivated him about Avant was that he is a hidden figure who has played a crucial role in American history for decades. This movie pays homage to a man often called the celebrity's celebrity, from a long list of other greats including Bill Withers, Jimmy Foxx, Ludacris, Hank Aaron, Lionel Richie, Barry Gordy, L.A. Reid, Babyface, Snoop Dogg, Quincy Jones, Mayor Andy Young, Bill Clinton, Kathy Hughes, Suzanne DePass, P. Diddy, David Geffen, Benny Medina, Barack Obama, Jim Brown, and many, many, many more. Nicole Avant, who also serves as the film's producer, notes that, yes, a lot of people have said that it's a love letter to my father. But for me, it was so much more than that. This movie was a love letter to everybody who came before me in my family, outside of my family. Everybody uh, that marched with me and marched in the streets carrying the signs that said, I am a man. I made this movie for Dr. King. I made this movie for Andrew Young. I made this movie for Cicely Tyson. This is a love letter from me to my culture. Listen, family, I highly recommend that every black person on the planet uh, take some time to really watch this movie and to follow Mr. Avon's lead and become a person who helps, a person who leads, a person of integrity, and a person that builds relationship. Well, listen, I'm Coach Lee, founder of Blackstock Directory, and this video has been sponsored by Blackstock Directory. So if you are a business owner or an entrepreneur, you need to get listed on Blackstock Directory right now. Please click the link below to discover the top five reasons why you need to get listed on Blacks right now. Well, listen, thank you very much for watching this video. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe to this channel so that you never miss any of the awesome content that we have coming your way in the near future. Well, listen, everybody, I want to thank you for watching again. Talk to you soon. And remember, we go up together.